be, you know, within the game, right? Uh, no, the only time that I'm off my feet is when I'm in the locker room at halftime, which is about 10 minutes. Uh-huh. Um, you know, we have, uh, you know, policies that mandates that we are in, you know, that we, that we at least, that we're at a certain weight, certain body fat, so... Mm-hmm. We're, we're, you know, the 63 of us, we're, we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, but my problem with some of the referees, they're just too old to be running up and down the court with those young Negroes. Nah, man, we have a very, very young staff. Uh-huh. Not the staff I've been seeing calling the games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Look at this, I'm looking at my, my partners. None of them are, all, all of them are, are, are relatively young. Yeah, well, that's that's good, man. Yeah, definitely keep up the good work with that. So, which which player in the league? Give me give me give me one name. Which player in the league talks the most trash to you? And they they never agree with any call you make, man. Give me give me one. There's, there's no there's no challenges. Everyone's competitive. It's an emotional yeah, game. Exactly. <laughs> uh-huh. it's, it's, it's no challenge at all. I have more challenges when I used to represent the Crenshaw League. Um, or when uh, I go down to the, uh, you know, some of the some of the leagues I refereed in the summertime, going back to the community, you know, where guys, you know, taught me how to referee when they were much better ball players than I was a referee. So I have more challenges there than than, than I have in the NBA. NBA guys are competitive and they just they play very hard. Well, when when the next game you're going to referee? What's the next game? Uh, I'm not, you know, because of uh, our. Uh, Legal policies are not allowed to now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. That's, 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 hey, that's, no that's problem. Fine. We understand. Yeah, that's that's all right then. Before we get to your golf tournament, man, we, man, I want to ask you one more. You know, biggest thing around here is Kobe's retirement, and all the players are pretty much mm. giving their two cents about Kobe retiring. How is it, you know, you dealing with him all these years on, as, as a referee? How, how was he to deal with? Nah, like I said, he was, he was fine. I mean, he, he, you know, his record speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a driven individual. And, you know, he's a great ball player, great competitor. I'd probably say in my 19 years, you know, there's three guys that I that, that competed at, a, at the highest level, and that was Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and Gary Tate. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up, no man. No Shaq? <laughs> no Shaq? I guess not, man. I guess no Shaq. Maybe joining us, we got Derek Richardson on the line, NBA referee at the Shaq golf whistle. tournament. Hey. Yeah, we, we, we <laughs> forgot to bring a whistle yeah. for him. I know. Yeah, man, we got him on the line. He has a golf tournament coming up this coming Saturday at Jesse Owens Park. So, Derek, tell us about that uh, the golf tournament you got coming up. What's that all about? Well, it, it's an event that we do with the Fall of Fever. We've been doing it for the last eight years where oh. we go back to the community and we have a father-child golf tournament where fathers and their, and their children or their significant minors uh, can come on out, play in, uh, at, at Maggie Hathaway Golf Course behind Jesse Owens Park, a, a nine-hole golf course. And we can have family building. Okay. Something that is you know, what I'm finding out doing work in the schools and it, that's missing is just that that consistent male father figure. Mm. And so we do that. We have a carnival so you can bring out your, um, you know, you all any, any kids from the community, they can come out, you get hamburgers, hot dogs, popcorn, ice um, cotton candy, you get a chance to win prizes. But it's an opportunity for us to work together to be to do things in our community. You know, um, I think it's important for us to understand the worth that we have in our community. You know, uh, we have challenges where we go to other communities and we spend our money in other communities and, and we don't really support our community. Uh, you know, I felt so bad uh, Saturday before I went on the road. I saw a young man, I was the barber, at Kip's Barbershop and, um, this young man got out the chair and I was watching him talk to his barber and I'm like, man, this is a nice young man. But his pants was down below his butt. Oh, well. Oh, that's you fashion. Know, you know how that works. That's, that's fashion. That's, 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 uh, that's what they do, man. That's fashion. Yeah. So, so they do oh, because no. they're not taught. So now when he's outside and I go to him and I say, you know, man, do you need a job? Yeah, I need a job. I said, now, <laughs> if I had a job right now to give you, do you think I'd hire you with your pants pulled down the way they are? 
and he pulled him up immediately and he said, oh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's what you're going to have to do sometime with some of these kids, man. That's that's the way it is. That's the way it is. You're going to have to do, right. for me, if there weren't men like my mentor, Ted Gustin, uh, Thomas Grace, um, Mr. Hayes, who was a doctor in the community, I, I'm a fatherless I was a fatherless, basically a fatherless a, a young man. And my father walked through the door of, 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 of my hotel room now, that I'm in right now. I wouldn't even know who he was. Okay? Uh -huh. But I tell my whole story, my karate instructor molested me. I have my degree, but it took me 10 years because I have a learning disability. Oh. And they came into my life. They were not my biological, they had no biological ties to me. And they invested in me. So now that allowed, because they, what they invested in me, allowed me to become one of uh, 23 black males to represent the highest level. And my challenge to all of us in our community is that's what we have to do. What, you know, what? It, as God has taught me, though, man, anybody can take, I, I'm going to take care of my son, Anthony Richardson. I'm going to take care of Stephanie Richardson, Nicole Richardson, and my mother. But what about that other person? Well, well, Derek, we, we're going to have to go. Let me go ahead and get some information on you in case somebody want to be part of your uh, uh, golf tournament this weekend. Uh, get them a contact number, website, where they can get more information. They can go to a fatherforever.org. Um, I'm going to give you William's uh, number. You can contact uh, Mr. William Denson. And, you know, it's a free event. We would love your support. You know, he's you don't, it, it's not a competitive event where, you know, it's about winning. It's about being out there and participating and us taking control of our community. But you can call Mr. William Denson at uh, area code 323-810-1952. One more time. One more time, the phone number, please. At fatherforever.org. Okay, and the phone number? All information. And if you want to sign up, you can sign up at, at their site. Okay, okay. Well, definitely this coming Saturday, we'll, we'll come through. We'll come check you out as far as the radio show is concerned. We'll see you on the court also during the games as well. Thanks for joining us, man. We really appreciate this. Look forward to you having, li having you live in studio down the road, okay? Definitely. Thank you very much. All right, take care. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. All right, man. That was Derek Richardson, NBA referee, right there on the line. Golf tournament coming up this coming Saturday at Jesse Owens Park. Make sure you're in the house for that. Mary, how's your golf game? You know what? I've been wanting to play golf lately. You know, I do miniature golf all the time, but, man, I don't mind. You I'll don't play. Mind? Yeah, okay. I play. I, man, I'm a sporty type of girl, so yeah. I'll rock. <laughs> That's right. Well, we're going to make it rock in a few moments, man. The artistry will be in the building. Uh-oh. So you can keep it with them, okay? Ching. Yeah, sounds good, man. We got more to come. We still got to get to that story as well about that dude that did a dumb thing at, at a dealership. What he tried to do <laughs> as far as buying a car. He, he and, always got some bizarre story. Well, of course, <laughs> it's what we do. That's why we're the radio show, right? man. Also, too, tickets to the single to Mile event coming up May the hey. 7th. Globe Theater, man. That's going to make it happen tonight. And Kyrie's uh, girlfriend caught. Yeah, in man. the bed. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Chicklin' <laughs> to put it as always, the radio show.
shorty. I swear you a baddie. I swear I fall in love when I'm listening to Cincinnati. What you doing over there with your friends? You from the hood, but I swear you got class. Take you on trips and private jets with wine glasses, cause you got exquisite taste. From your head down to your pretty face, can't nobody replace you with sexy sensations. I know you said Princeton on the hook, but this was made by Satan Marie, but part in me and my composer. But I would like to hold you closer, so please let me get a dose of that baddie. You screaming and calling me daddy, that's why I got love in Cincinnati. That's why I got love in Cincinnati. Ooh. Yo, what's up, man? It's Doona Miss L1019. Check out my new single, Never, right here on the radio show. The number, the number one, one source, source of independent, independent music. music. Also heard on the radio show.com. The Bible says in Psalms 98, verse 1, Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. And all that old religion and traditions of men, we're going to destroy right now. And you're going to know in your life that you ain't never, ever heard gospel like this, baby. Okay, it's all about survival. Don't need a Glock, my only weapon is the Bible. Trying to provide you with something else to ride to, get lied to, yeah, bounce, rock, slide to. Can you feel the Holy Spirit deep inside you? Touch your heart, how many times God tried to? How that saying go, you reap what you sow. Not using the needle and thread, nah, I'm in the flow. So on your mark, you say, y'all, let's go. The enemy started the fight when I'm throwing the first blow. Talking the talk, yeah, and walking the walk. Tired of seeing young brothers lying to chop. We here to serve God, that's what I thought. No matter the price, my soul can never be bought. Love, I wouldn't treat you like I never knew you. Sending up the highest praise, yeah. Hallelujah. You ain't never, 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 never heard. Never, 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 never heard. Never, 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 never heard. Never, 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 ever heard no gospel like this. I'm a soldier, yeah, soldier for Christ. Give a radical praise when I step to the mic. When I write, put it down for G-O-D. Mentally, lyrically, and also spiritually. And it's walk the enemy's purpose is to make you trip. A good soldier of God gonna do hardships through faith. Attend the Bible study, paying your tithes. And the Holy Spirit, everybody being baptized at this time. Me to put some use to them shoes. Stump on the devil so hard, you leave with a bruise. But you too cool to give praise to the man above. You was tired of sweating when you was up in the club. If it was free before 12, everything would be tight. How you gonna try that you the one who give life? Who should you from harm? Cause so you ain't it hurt. Y'all gonna have to excuse me. I feel like having some chance. You ain't never, 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 never hurt. Never, 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 never hurt. Never, 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 never hurt. Never, never. Such an aggressive nature coming real with it. You don't like it, I ain't leaving, so just deal with it. Doing this, don't act like I'm new to this. Sir, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is why I'm doing this. Yeah, this record here, you should be playing it. Scream hallelujah and never get tired of saying it. Mexican past man, I'm just relaying it. He coming back for his people, ain't no delaying it. A couple hundreds in your